Bruce, um, in the, the the ninth inning there was pretty wild with the deal with Jonah and then Jankowski hitting the home run. What what did you see on Heim, and then why did you choose Jankowski? Well, I'll, I'll start with Jonah. I mean, it's so loud out there. I'm sure he couldn't hear a foul tip. We couldn't see it, but uh, you just don't assume that uh, that he saw the foul tip or or heard anything there. So you have to finish the play, and and so you know something. Jonah, we, we just talked about it. He says that that's that's something that, that's on me. But the big thing is he put it behind him and got that big hit. Uh, you know we made two mistakes there. Pico wasn't at home. He probably doesn't break for the plate, you know, if he covers home. So, um, anyway, Jankowski bailed us out. And and with this speed, his discipline at the plate now, getting a home run, I don't think any of us was ex uh, expecting that. But he's been swinging the bat well, but that's why I let him off in that inning. What did you think of Nate? It seemed like this was – quintessential what he does well today. I agree. Uh, he, he was outstanding. Threw the ball very well. Six solid innings. Gave us a chance to win. Their guy was tough too and ended up ha having to leave the game because it looked like he hurt his hamstring. But you know, Nate did what he normally does and just gave us a great effort out there. Had good stuff, good command. He I thought he was on top of his game. And, and, and add to that, the bullpen, what a job they did. I mean, we got in some tough jams there, and they made pitches when they had to. You, you've been around the game a while. Do you remember the last time you saw somebody get intentionally walked in their big league debut? I can't recall, to be honest. I think that shows the, the respect that Wyatt has already in the game, you know, for that to happen. It went 3 0, so I, I wasn't surprised, to be honest. But. I think everybody knows he can handle the bad. And at that point, they wanted to start to count over. So, no, it, it wasn't uh, any surprise. Uh, Bruce, did you get an explanation on that wild pitch scenario? Because replays, it looked like for the Cubs when they scored, replays, it looked like it was he had fouled it off. Did you get any explanation on no, that? No, no, no. And you know what? When it's as, as loud as it was out there, <laughs> I'm not surprised that he didn't hear it. I mean, we couldn't tell. We couldn't hear it. It's just important that you finish the play. You don't assume that uh, he heard anything. And, and we did just we just made a couple mistakes there by not covering home and generally going to get the ball. You don't assume anything in this game. Uh, looking back at it, yeah, he did uh, foul tip it, a bad break. But, you know, we uh, get the big hit by Jankowski again to save us. I think you touched on this at least a little bit already, but the resilience of Jonah to come back and obviously atone for the earlier issue, that was such a key portion of who you guys were a year ago. To tie that into this year, what does that say about uh, your big picture goals that you're even just in this one micro instance bring that facet of your team into 2024? Uh, yeah, in this game it's all, all about putting uh, – a little adversity behind you or a mistake. And, and so I don't want guys uh, dwelling on that. Hey, it's over. You can't do anything about it. Let's move on. And and he did that. You know, great at bat there, to two outs. You can't get a bigger hit than that. So good for him. I, I know he felt terrible, the fact he didn't, you know, hurry and go get the ball. But you know what? You, you learn from it, and it's it's loud. Again, it's, I mean, this atmosphere, I mean, what an opener. I mean, it was a very exciting game. And like I said, it's it's just hard to hear out there with the fans. I mean, they were so loud, and we thank them for that. And it, it was just a, a terrific uh, opening night. Anything else? Kevin? Uh, you guys started the Saturday? Yeah. Uh, Bradford will start Saturday. Right now we have Gray scheduled to go Sunday. Mm -hmm. 
So how was that for an opener? Yeah, it was incredible. Um, I mean, just the whole the whole process going out there on taking the field, uh, the fans. It was, in, I don't know, it, it's hard to describe how amazing it was. Um, you know, watching the replays of the whole World, World Series and then dropping the banner. And, you know, I'm trying to go out there and get ready and go about it normally. And it's like I felt like it took me five or six pitches and I was ready to go. And, uh, you know, again, it's nice being able to have that routine of, you know, like where I can look at the clock, I know exactly where I am. And if I'm ahead too fast, um, you know, most of the time I don't have to speed up. So it's like I, I made sure to give myself plenty of time to go out there and warm up. and. Um, just to be able to watch everything and kind of the recap, it was it was incredible. How would you evaluate, I guess, your performance? You know, after everything was said and done. Yeah, um, I, I I wasn't very pleased with it. I mean, obviously, I was able to make big pitches when I needed to. Um, you know, I was able. I, I didn't feel like I had a very good feel for my splitter tonight. And then towards the end of the game, I kind of shied away from it, which I felt like I should have gone back to it and used a little bit more. Um, I felt like my curveball was pretty good, even though I gave up a few hits on him. Uh, you know, I, I, again, it was just there was so much energy in the crowd and stuff, and I wasn't able to like really slow it down. Um, again, I was able to settle down a little later into the game, and then you know the the double and I, I, on Bellinger, I, he's just he's such a good hitter when it comes to keeping his hands through the ball on those pitches inside and. I didn't get that cutter in enough on him. I, you know, I might have tried to overthrow that one fastball where I missed arm side way off the play. Jonah made an incredible stop right there, and um, you know, maybe if I go, if I had thrown a different pitch, it would have been a different story. But I didn't get that cutter in enough, and that was basically it right there. And uh, they were able to tie it up. What, what was your reaction when Jonah walked it off at the end there? No, oh, it was incredible. You know what I mean? Especially the way the game ended there towards the towards the end of the game, and uh, with him having that that. You know, the call and not chasing the ball is like, oh, you know, you got to finish the play. You can't always rely on the umpire and their call and argue that situation right there. But then for him to be come up in that situation again towards the end of the game and be able to get that game winning knock, it's, it's awesome. What was Jonah's reaction um, in the middle of the ninth after all that happened? I don't know. I mean, he's frustrated right there. He's, again, it's such a hard play for the umpire to make and call. Um, you know, the crowd was into the game, and, you know, you, you have to go on what he said. You know, you can't sit there and argue it. Um, so, obviously, Jonah was upset about it and, I mean, gave him to go ahead. You know, so, but it was nice that we were able to answer back, tie it up with Janko coming off the bench and getting that home run. And, I mean, we all know Janko. So, it was nice for us to see him get that and come out on top right there. And, um, and then, again, uh, D-Rob did an incredible job coming in that situation, runner on second base and being able to leave him there. And I thought the bullpen threw the ball tremendous tonight. And, again, D-Rob holds the runners really well. So it's like he'd limit the running game. And, you know, he left that run, that you know, the extra inning run out there. So uh, made it to where we were able to come out on top and win that ball game.